lembrar vocês que também, que ó, cupom novo Artes3 saiu no CSGONET graças a vocês, então já corre, utiliza esse cupom. Qualquer valor utilizado, rapaziada, 10 reais você ganha 2,50. 100 reais você ganha 25 reais. E mil reais se você tiver estourado aí, esquece estourar, você ganha 250 reais aqui no site, então é muita grana. E além disso, tá todo mundo que utiliza meu cupom aqui no CSGONET, rapaziada, participa do sorteio mensais. E o sorteio desse mês, que vai ser o resultado do dia 6 do 5, sim, já tá chegando, tá chegando o finalzinho. Então se você não sabe, utilizou o cupom, bate uma print tirando aqui, ó. Tudo isso aqui que você foi utilizado vai aparecer. O pão foi utilizado e o seu ID aqui embaixo, galera, com sua Steam, beleza? Mandou lá no formulário, você vai estar tá participando do sorteio de uma Gucci Águas Claras para você de 650 reais. É isso mesmo, então partiu! What does work is yeah, I get the pick of the CT side because it's not their map, so gonna be where they the most comfortable. Farsen, got to deal with a fast A play. MIBR are out and about the ramp. They've got those smokes down towards the jungle and they can go for the open plant. No CT smoke, but the cover is there and control has been taken by Taco. Very passive pistol for Yeah as they look to play retake. I think MIBR have realized the position taken up by Farsen in this spawn. But will they get aggressive? They have no more utility and two CTs here. It's all about timing. The flash is up. It's good for the CT side. Fast with a kill. Taco training gets two. Uh. The team killed by Mayan, who is so blind, he has to make up for it. He has to salvage this round and instead he will go down. It's a two on three. Fallen making it a reality. Him and Fur have to hold the line. Yeah, they tap the bomb and that's Fallen removed. Oh. Fur goes down immediately What? after. No time, surely. It's gonna be close. I think they do have it. I think no. they have it. Rot. Ooh, oh, they got it. It's very, very close. But yeah, they do just get... Let's see. I've really hyped this up. Let's see if Fallen can deliver. Well, the kill actually goes the way of KNG, but Fallen hit that tag on the scout on the cross. So I guess that was he, right. in a way, has delivered. Nice jump. Taz is in though a second late. Means the bomb does get planted regardless. That's a key uh, impact, uh, key bit of information, sorry, for MIBR, as they can still win this round, but... With the CTs playing very passive and grouping up, that's going to make things hard. Flash is good. Fur does avoid it, but he can go back in for more. No more utility to aggress here. Only a Molotov on KNG can play the plant with that. Fur waiting close. He's got them both, and he can 180 swivel on the site, but he might not need to because IDK is already running for the hills. They're chasing him down, and they won't let him escape. A more hold game towards A, and that's going to free up these guys to just leave at the first sign of trouble. Doom Hours Eagle along with IDKs. Chime in for a kill apiece. The nades are good, and Mayan gets that kill. That allows him to level out with zero in the oh, server. But the Deegs are still coming in clutch for yeah, Gaming. Fallen all alone, 1v3. And he's got to try and offer us some heroics now. Bomb on his back. <laughs> he's seeing ghosts. He is, man. He's, he's terrified. Fallen, you alright, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's so he fast. He can't outrun his demons because his demons have Deegs and now Fallen, is he ready for the upswing? Ooh, flicks back. He's got his head Whoa. on a swivel okay. and he gets Did it close. want to check out those other games, twitch.tv, ESL underscore CSGO B or ESL underscore CSGO C. We are back at it here at least. Big scouts ringing off from the side of this ticket booth. It's going to be RCF. Three deep over here on this A site. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> Fallen oh just dear. glocked Taz in. Oh what? no! Okay. What? No! 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 This can't be how it falls apart. This cannot be the undoing of Yeah Gaming in this round. This was not one that MIBR had any stock going into. They had a glock on Fallen, and he got a kill. And now KNG down here in mid, just being a nuisance, just being a thorn in the side of Yeah Gaming, and they've got to waste a lot of time worried about this mid player paranoid. Like Dumao's looking everywhere. Where's he gone? KNG, the ghost. But now he's narrowed it down, and he's realized. There's not many places he can be, but while you spent all this time Ooh. dealing with KNG, it's bought that much more time for Mayan and Fallen. IDK, first man in, and maybe the has last man out it. as he has gets to. that kill. Has oh. to get on the bomb, Fallen doing damage, knife out. Oh, no. he's missed the lunge, he missed the stab. Uh. A couple of stabs in the dark, not enough for Fallen. And yeah, gaming, he's, he's they get- not rocket the appliances. Don't know why MIBR would have problem with what is almost a full eco. Of course, a saved AK can make a world of difference if it's in the right place. Right now, it's not. It's up on Cat. So Dumao is going to be a little bit cancelled out of this round and might just instantly save if MIBR get the first kill into the site. That's if they even get a kill. The smokes might just keep fasting out of this position as... No jungle smoke comes down. It's a deeper one that lets him fight towards a connector and see catwalk. Dumao's going to hang around. He's going to be able to have some say into this round from that position. But Farsin finds the first frag. 
fast as his name suggests. And he's got another. Why? What? How? Every eco round, no matter how little invested, seemingly a three on two, a five on two, right? Every single time, still winnable. Fallen needs the ace clutch. He's got two. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, come on, Fallen. Yeah, the blood's flowing now. Fallen, oh. another. Oh, oh, he gets oh it. The God. ace for Fallen. Goodness, MIBR, they almost throw it RCF's away. RCF's been doing a very good job of keeping MIBR guessing as to his whereabouts. In this round, the guesswork has been removed. KNG baits that shot out expertly. That's an AWP retrieved for KNG. Now, he hasn't given us any Fallen-esque highlights thus far, but this could be the round. He retrieved an AWP from RCF's body, and now he tries to use that against Yeah Gaming. Leaving the apartments now are MIBR and Taco. Digging down fast in has left them a man up. Even with that kill coming through from Tatazin, quite able to chain together the double. And Fur and Fallen have taken matters into their own hands. They are sick and tired of this Mirage T side. They want it over and done with, and they're going to get that. MIBR have up their sleeves. It's going to be a fast B hit for the side of Yeah Gaming. They're going to try to get out there and swarm KNG. They're only good for one. However, Taco Ooh. here to save the day. Can he find a third? No. Does look like they might get this bomb plan in because they're starting to clean up the remaining MIBR members. 2v2. Dumal's on three. He's looking for the ace in this round and more than doable. OHP though, and those USPs just a couple of shots away from taking that kill. I like this slowdown. Yeah, what other options do they have? They have to wait and hope MIBR make a mistake. That's not going to happen. Not yet. Yeah, Dumal very low already. They'll probably go for this bomb plan at some point. However, they don't know where the second player was. They're very, very cautious, very curious. In the palm plant, they're just going to stick that. Uh, Marin, it's going to be on the B site, bud. Yeah, he's just checking for a flank with so long going with them not seeing that second player. They were just checking if anyone was coming in through mid, looking to backstab. But right now, it's a full retake. And IDK's dig down the first. Mayon on seven, finished off by Dumao. Is it the ace pistol round to start it off? Certainly looks like it. He's just waiting, no rush. Fur has a smoke to throw on the bomb. He's gonna push close to Mao. Three bullets. Oh, he's whiffed him. He can try and get out. He can try and stay alive. And somehow he's fighting for what his life. Hell? But the bomb might kill Fur after all. If Dumao doesn't get there first, he won't. He's dead. But the round is lost by MIBR. It's gonna get picked up after all. But yeah, gaming. Nine on the T side. Fur somehow even survived. Ooh. Uh oh. They're committing into a full eco. Is it gonna be the eco win again? Oh no, oh dear, the bomb's dropped, AK found, RCF spraying, does get that kill. KNG with the... Spread this defense out, they don't keep both players here. And so Taco, oh, no. very much alone, is essentially in a 1v2 back here. Spots the players in apartments, yeah. tries to re-peek into that fight, and that's him gone. Not a fan of the spam there. Like, that just gives away your position. I understand. You know, it, the, the, the thing is about that spam as well is you're not going to kill anyone with like three or four bullets, so... It seems kind of pointless when you give away your position and then, yeah, just both double hard PQ and force KNG to save because he's got an AWP and he's on the wrong side of this the map. In this case, MIBR, they need the wins because this map is slipping away from them right now. A fast B approach Holy and Taco is so flashed out. Oh, dear. Just when you think he's got a chance, that's when the flashes pop and he is going to have a chance. He is going to get a kill, but it's swiftly traded. Fallen with a scout is fast as ever in a three on three. But bomb site lost and bomb plant found. It's a retake for MIBR with a, only one kit. Oh, and IDK has retrieved this off, and he's using it to devastating oh, effect. A bit of a taste of your own medicine. 40 seconds left, and you haven't seen a player yet. You know they're holding. They were waiting for that exact kill, and with it given their way, they can now commit to A. Quick kill from Fur. Taco biding time, buying time. 25 on the clock, and if he just stays what? here, yeah, I don't know. He's going to win the round. That grenade disappears into orbit, and Taco won't receive a bit of damage. Two Deegs on the site, 15 seconds to get past, and it seems like MIBR might have already already won this round. Like, I don't see any way it falls apart. They even have a third in the connector. KNG's not able there to find just... anything as the peak from it, yeah, oh. is a lot slower. They now get out into the site. Fast invests Mayan. And already, you could justify yeah, kind of relying. peeling back. But there you go. That kill, now they're, now they're interested. Now they're, now they're considering it. Now back into the favor of, yeah. <laughs> You're relying on mistakes. That's how, that's the only way you win this round. Unless my own on A, the anchor player gets multi-kills, you're relying on mistakes. And right now, they're just not being made. Orbs will find a bit of impact into this round, but Fallen has to trade his out in, well, for a rifle instead to be mobile.
There's a flank in middle, and this is going to win them the round if no one's ready for it. No one's looking in that position. That's a big kill, though. Falling gets a frag on the A site. Taco holding connector, and this is perfect. The timing is everything. He can't afford to look away now, and he will get taken down. Fast frag for RCF. Leaves Fallen in the hot seat. One on two from the spawn. He can stop the bomb here, though. He can find this kill and win the round. Ten seconds. They have to cross back to triple, and so Fallen is in such a pivotal position. He dropped the bomb. He might just win it. Yeah, if he just runs away, but... Obviously, he's not sure where the second player is. Oh. That's going to be a close one. There's going to be no bomb plant on this round it. today. Oh. No, sir. So close. They're not ready for him close. He will shut down the first man before RCF gets that trade. Rotations are arriving for MIBR. KNG and his AWP here falling alongside him. The double AWPs of this B bomb site have got to hold the line. KNG missing his uh -oh. shot, Farsin and IDK getting two between them. Fallen has a lot on his plate right now, a lot to worry about, and he gets found through the smoke. It is all on to Fur, 1v2. Otherwise, all this work that MIBR have done could be in vain. He sets himself up over here in the market. Bomb is down. He's got plenty of time to work with, does Fur. Tazin up in the apartments and Farsin down in the site. But swings oh, wide. And rounds in a row, MIBR need to make this OT. Fast and going through a Molotov. They smoke it off. It's fast. It's ferocious. Will it be successful? No, not for the first. Fallen follows up on top of the balcony. And Mayan still here on the site, putting it down a fight. Spray is good. And they are going to get chewed up and spat out. MIBR, a flawless catch them round. off guard. That's the last thing MIBR yeah. are going to be expecting. But they back up, and this is well timed. Getting stuck. Mayan, what? quick kill, <laughs> deletes fast in. And the bomb's been dropped. Yeah, fast in, fast out. And now drop from the round. Mayan still. Still trying to buy time. Tatazin and Dumao, the last two players left. Now only Tatazin has upgraded onto the AK, but he's got a 1v4 to find. Does have time, but that is his only ally here to deny overtime to MIBR. Tatazin dropped at the Maybe first time. get Dumao is ready for the first shot. He should hit this. Even though Taco is closer than he will anticipate, this should be his kill, although the flick is not there. And Mayan is going to get the entry. Taco gets a bit of damage off. It will get traded. Mayan, good kills from him. He, op he opens up the site, and KNG can close it down on the wraparound. He's flanked window, and he's found RCF. MIBR, they need a flawless T-half. They need three in a row if they want to close it here. They've done the first. That they do. They are sitting very, very close to it. They're at least going to even the score line up here at 17-17. Overall, this has been just an all-over-the-place kind of game. You think about, you know, just watching Fall and run around and, and do what he's got to do. And then obviously... Fur chimes in. K and G can tuck out and do a lot of damage from this position. He's already started to do so. Dumal's dropped the bomb. There's a trade, but here's IDK. The last thing you'd expect, the last position you check, and he drops the bomb as it tries to get planted. MIBR need a hero to take him down, and K and G will come up. Might look to go toe to toe with him. But Flash goes in. Dumal trying to hold the short side. He's been fantastic all game long, has Dumal, but especially over at this B site, and locking it down oh. and getting away with more than he should be allowed to do. And this round might be no exception. The Molly has burnt him into oh. the open, fallen. Thankfully, readjusts in time. But for him and Taco, a two on four. This is surely undoable. Taco does rid them of one at the very, very least. But all three remaining players are here, tucked in. Locked and loaded at the B side of the map. Taco gets <gasps> another damage onto IDK, even with the Deagle. Oh, man. They're Doesn't so get the kill. About 15, 15 seconds. This yeah. is such a weird round. It's all grinded to a halt, but at some point, it's got to get picked back up. Fallen with one, but it's not enough. MIBR, it was not enough. Flash is good. RCF can't see the cross, and he might pay the price as KNG runs right by him. Great pace set by KNG. Fastin coming up to the connector. If he wants his smoke, that is just, I okay. mean, what you're, you're asking to get killed there. You're asking to get killed. You just saw KNG down middle. You know he's bottom con. So, not a fan, but MIBR, they'll take it. Every day of the week, five on three. They have the A site under lockdown, the flank in the palace. Again, Tatazin, man, not that he's been doing it wrong. He's just been missing out on every battle in overtime. Like, always saving, always left with the last gun of the round. <laughs> yeah, as far as he's concerned, man, like, like they, God, they're not even clear. in overtime Palace yet. is clear. He hasn't even seen anyone. He's like, I don't even know why you guys are worried about <laughs> MIBR. I haven't seen them once, so... Oh, but now he might. Now he might. Uh -oh. Gets his first taste of action. Doesn't like what he sees. And uh, okay, got one game to focus on, fellas. One game only. Two teams. Ten players. 
had a Ooh. fast A rush. Yeah, trade is in for Taco. RCF down here in CT spawn. And that's going to peel the attention away from Tatazin over here at ramp. So that allows him a freebie onto Fur. Fallen and KNG in a two on four. Can they salvage anything off this round? They do still have the bomb to work with. Ooh. And KNG is looking for that kill onto Catwalk, but he's not able to find it. Does get himself a foothold in the window room, but that there not being broken is very much by intention. KNG has got to make noise if he wants to go on a CT flank. So the best he can do is help out at this A side of the map. Now, wouldn't surprise me if Fallen tries to make noise here to bait these players on A into a peek through the connector, looking to ch challenge him at jungle. And then KNG can pounce from this position. You want to be convoluted? I was going to say, like, go fall and go ladder and break the vents at the same time. Like, that would be next level. But, I mean, really, really reaching at that point. And KNG's out A, so you may as well commit with this. But pushed up ramp could win this round. This kill is everything. So Tata's in. He's been a bit quiet in overtime, but this is where he can be loud and save the series. Oh, KNG oh. kills the man in A. Tatsin knows his fight is coming, but he looks away and fall and finds the frag. How on earth has that happened? 15 seconds, IDK can stop the bomb, but it's a safe plant on default, not gonna happen. No, that was actually sick from KNG. He throws a smoke at the ramp to feign like a, like a flash, like bouncing off of the ground, I think, right? Because then he looks away, I think, to dodge the flashbang. And it's a smoke. It was a ruse. Damn. And so now KNG and Fallen, they've turned this from a two on four into a two on two. And what could be a 20th round for MIBR, KNG has done so oh much my. and so has Fallen. Oh, they both played to make it happen. Mayan doesn't even realize they've taken control. The flashes are so good. He has seen nothing all round and top mid has been conceded. The bomb could even be lost as well. Fast is going back to check under, but Fur, wow, what an angle, ready for it. IDK with a trade, the AWP is out and about. Fallen will pick up one as KNG comes out from under as well. It is a Mess on this B site. What? Both the players <laughs> hopping rounds with orbs, unscope, and Fallen finds it. Okay. It's a deathmatch server right now. Everyone's having fun and games, but right now this game is going the way of oh, oh, overtime after overtime after overtime. Sometimes, if not most of the time, the strap book goes right out the window. Yeah, oh. you get very loose, and you look for your orbs to do stuff like that, play smokes, and commit, despite the amount of flashbangs that you yeah, threw into middle. Fallen kept re-peeking into flashes, finally catches a timing, and catches a kill onto IDK, who has been very good in this series as well. Another orb gone, as RCF is removed down bottom con, and right now MIBR are just three kills away from 2 0 in this series. Something that could have been done a long time ago, the alternative is we could already be in map three. This was a dominant lead at one point for yeah. They were 14-8 up. Well, everything does look in order for that 2-0 currently. Mal drops a Molotov there. That's going to be Taco. No one likes a burnt Taco. But he's going to stay alive. My eye just jump peek in the ramp. We'll have a Molotov, but with how fast in plays, I don't think he's going to get caught by the Molly. Tazin certainly might, and he might get trapped behind it. Fastin is deep within the site, and he's all alone. That Molotov splits those players up. The old saying, divide and conquer, rings true in this round. And now Tazin tries to turn the tide. It's all on to oh. do now.